Welcome to episode 2 of Learning Lua. Today we're going to be making a guessing game where you have a number that you're trying to guess and then it will tell you if the number is higher or lower. Some knowledge requirements before starting is being comfortable with printing messages, setting variables, working with functions, if then the statements. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start off by setting our variables. And we're going to uh, name a variable our answer. So local answer. And this is going to equal, so whatever number we want to guess. It could be any number. So let's guess 50. And we're putting this in uh, quotation marks because when we get our input for the answer, that's going to be in quotation marks too. And to make them match up, they also have to be in quotation marks. And now we're going to work on our script part of this this is the brains behind it so we're going to use the repeat um system where it's going to repeat a chunk of code until something else so we're going to do repeat repeat and then until so now we're going to print so we're going to repeat so every time like here it's going to ask us the same question so we're going to start off by printing make your guess and now that it's asking them to make their guest guess we're going to uh, create a variable that will t uh, collect their input so local guess io dot read parentheses semicolon so this will take what they input and store it as a variable named guess and now we're going to get onto our function part so we're going to create a function for more which is telling them that the number is higher so local function more and we're going to print and then we're going to do a backward slash n so there's more spacing in between each guess and it looks a lot more cleaner and we're going to end our function now we're going to create the same thing but the opposite this function is going to be named less and tell them that the number is less so local function less and then we're going to print the number is lower. And then we're going to do the same thing, backwards slash n. And then we're going to end off our function. And now we're on to the fun part, the if this then statement. So if our guess is equivalent to the answer, then we're going to tell them until that they won, congratulations, and break this repeat. But if if the guess is less than answer then we're going to tell them that the number is more and if the guess is greater than the answer we're going to tell them that the number is less so if guess is less than answer then we're going to tell them it's more with a function and then end then if guess is greater than answer then we're going to tell them it's less. So this is going to keep repeating if they don't get it right until our guess is equivalent to the answer that they wanted. And now we're going to tell them that uh, congratulations. So we're going to print congrats you win. And now we're just going to tell them what the number is. Then we're going to attach the answer. So we're going to attach the string answer. And now if we open up our command prompt and do Lua, because we're under Lua, guessing game dot Lua, which is our name of our script. It's going to say make your guess. And let's guess the number 69. Our number is lower than 69. So let's guess 12. Our number is higher than 12. So let's do 49. Our number is higher than 49. Let's do 51. Our number is lower than 51. So that makes it 50. Thank you so much for following this tutorial all the way to the end. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you love the code, I'll put it in the GitHub in the description. Please like and subscribe and turn notifications on for more um, uploads and tutorials. See you in episode 3.